Forex Terminology, Part 1. Pips are the reason why people begin trading Forex. The overall goal with trading is to make pips and increase your account profit. A pip stands for price interest point and is the smallest price change a given pair or exchange rate can make. Most pairs are measured to four decimal points or one one hundredth of one percent. In the case of the Japanese yen pairs, these are measured to only two decimal places. Pips measure the actual movement of currency rates, while lots are the size of the positions held. One standard lot equals 100,000 units of currency. One mini lot is 10,000 units of currency, and one micro lot is 1,000 units of currency. Lots can only be traded in multiples of one for standard, mini, and micro accounts. For example, if you have a standard account, you cannot open a position size equaling 1.5 lots or 150,000 units of currency. However, if you have a mini account, and you wanted to open a position that equaled 150,000 units, you could simply place an order for 15 mini lots, equaling that same position size. The value of a pip will differ depending on the position size and pair. Pairs with the US dollar as the cross currency, the currency on the right, for example, the pound dollar or the euro dollar, one pip is worth 10 US dollars. In the case of a mini lot, one pip is equal to one US dollar. Micro lots are worth 10 cents a pip. For example, if we opened a two standard lot position on the pound dollar and we gained 10 pips, we would take those 10 pips and multiply it by $10 and then by two lots and we would have made a $200 profit. Pairs with the US dollar as the base currency, for example, the dollar Swiss or the dollar yen, are worth roughly between $8 and $11 a pip. There is not an exact measurement because the value is always changing due to the rate. For a PIP calculator, please go to www.fxdd.com. In the Forex market, the spread is another essential component of trading. You'll see here a screenshot from our MetaTrader 4 platform offered at FXDD. The spread is the distance measured in PIPs between the bid and ask price. You will see four decimal points represented on most of these currencies with the exception of the dollar yen, which only has two. The ask price is the price at which the trader buys the pair. It is also known as the offer price. The bid price is the price at which the trader sells the pair.